Okay, so we're now on day three, you guys, of a search for a missing tiger that escaped from a home in Houston. The tiger has been seen around the neighborhood. Wow. Oh my gosh, just chilling on the grass, prowling around. There was even a confrontation with a man and a gun. One man was arrested, but, they, but he claimed that the tiger wasn't even his. It's currently illegal to own a tiger as a pet in Houston, by the way. So now Tiger King star Carol Baskin is weighing in on all of this. The Big Cat Rescue founder spoke to CNN. Have a listen. And the only reason that people have tigers as pets is to try and show off to others that they are more powerful than the most powerful creature on the planet. That already tells you that the kind of people who own tigers are really dangerous, reckless people. And she's right. She has tigers. Yeah, but hers is a rescue, and she just literally passed legislation to prevent people from owning tigers. So at least she has a purpose. Yes, you can unpack it, and, and we can get into a whole nother discussion, but she at least claims to be helping tigers. You know the people that have them in their mansion or sometimes even smaller homes. That's so cruel. It's a, I look, I it know a they, ego, I, egotistical yes. of her to think that she is above all those other people that are trying but to own are, tigers as well. Rescues. I, I just, I Jeff, feel like I'm she's just saying she's above them and I don't think, she I, is it was kind of laughable. I don't know if she's above them. Somebody keeping it in like their bathroom or their backyard as opposed to someone who's rescuing tigers. I don't know. I just, <laughs> after watching that show and the whole thing, it's laughable. And her to say that she's above all that, I mean, I think she's one of them. Okay, interesting. They all should. Well, she started they, the legislation. Just, sorry. But, no, sorry. go ahead, please, Tori, go. No, the, the, the um, Big Cats Protection Act is something that she's actually passing and trying to get through legislation to make it illegal. And I, I worry about her sanctuary, but at least it wasn't kept in a house. And I like her message and her mission. I think she might be a little cray cray, but I like her, I like her message. I didn't know you guys were related to the cat lady. I look, Ooh. I, I, Jeff, uh, you know, I, I'll just say this. Her points, I know that she's so polarizing, it's hard to listen to what she says, but look, when somebody has something that they honestly cannot control, almost like the people that keep chimpanzees and they get them when they're cute, and then it's all cruel. of a sudden they, ha they, they literally have the strength of eight grown men. You know, and so once these things get out, they can't stop them and we can't. And it's like, what if your kids are outside? Right. What if you see it and swerve? I mean, these are like really dangerous. It's like almost like, like having 10,000 fireworks right. in your house. Yeah, it's, it's fine until it's not. Right. It's not safe. Number one. And number what? two, it is not. Um, Wait, is it? It's was not that ethical not for the animal. <laughs> Okay, we got to go to the next story. No, yeah. Sam, I want okay, her to get, no. On. What was the confusion? I said, I, I said that there was something dangerous <laughs> in your house and I made it analogous to fireworks that weren't lit yet. Now, what, what was the, the consternation? Because a tiger has, because a tiger has feelings and I feel bad for the tiger. I don't necessarily feel bad for the fireworks. So it's not a great analogy, let's be honest. I'm with Tori. I didn't know we were weaving in I'm, feelings into this you analogy. You should because it's a live animal. You got to, you got to consider right. that too. So I'm with you, Tori. Thank you. Good job, Tori. <laughs> okay.